Hello, welcome back. I know it's been a while since my last vlog, but life with a Cambridge degree has been a bit hectic and I haven't had the time to sit down and edit. However, I'm excited to catch up with you. In the next 20 minutes, you will join me for coffee dates, making new friends, bonfire night, wild nights out, and finding moments of calm in the chaos of term. I, my Catalan class was so much fun. So basically it's normally really content heavy and this class was kind of speaking focused, which was good. But yeah, the teacher is so like thorough and well prepared and has so many resources. So if you do have a mouth, then I would definitely recommend this paper. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you will know that I love, love, love the program Anki. It uses space repetition system to mean that you're studying as effectively as possible. So as a language student for all of my language based papers, be it translation or learning a new language or speaking, anything like that, I will use Anki and I will not take traditional notes. Instead of making traditional notes in class, what I'll do is note down all the grammar points that I need to turn into flashcards. I will then copy and paste this into Anki and then I will review the flashcards daily. As you can see here, from as early as possible, I try and write my flashcards in the target language. So in this example, I write a quick explanation on the reverse side of the flashcard in Catalan. It's just a few words long. However, this ensures that I know how to say this word doesn't have an accent in the target language. My vibe for this week is very much like study coffee days. So like, I really enjoy this co-working because it means that instead of just having a whole day of hours to fill it, it's like, okay, I've got two hours and I'm taking a break in the middle. I'm with somebody else so I need to get stuff done. So I'm doing a lot of that this week, which I'm really excited for. And I just met with um, one of my friends from my Spanish class. And it was like the first time we hung out, but yeah, it was a fun. So we're gonna see each other for another co-working session next week. And also we checked out the English library, which I really enjoyed. And then like, now we'd probably never been to it before. So yeah, I'll show you what it's like, but it's really fancy, so I would recommend. So I had another cheeky hour in the English library before heading back to college to do another two hour study day with my friend slash college mom slash the love of my life, Claire. Up until about 4 p.m. I was just working on language stuff. So in the Cambridge Languages course, about half of the content is to do with language, translation, speaking, and the other half is linguistics, literature, philosophy, film. In order to stay organized and not emotionally flood, I just take each day at a time and one task at a time. From this Catalan class, you go from absolute zero until the B1 level in just 20 weeks of teaching, so it is extremely intense. And you can see me here, back in college, reviewing the flashcards I'd made so far that term. For me, it was important to review this content every single day, because this means that by the end of the year, you don't have thousands and thousands of flashcards to memorise, you would have already memorized quite a lot of them just by giving a small fraction of your day every single day to this memorization process. Essentially splitting up a big task into small, tiny, tiny, tiny chunks every single day, even if it's only five or 10 minutes, massively, massively pays off at the end. At 5 p.m., my cheerleading friend Alicia came over and this is when I started working on an essay that I had to write for a French literature module. It was about surrealist film and the title was just Moi, chef's kiss. I mean, at this point in term, when everyone is burnt out, the fact I was feeling this excited about work really says something. I quickly printed off some resources for my European film paper and then Alicia came back to mine for dinner. Alicia is a recurring character in my vlogs and yeah, our dates every single week are just the best. Domestic goddess Alicia. Um, we've got chicken. Yesterday I was talking about how much I was craving chicken and then here we are. Alicia, talk me through this dish. So we've got some chicken. Yeah! Onions, we've got spring onion, red onion, white onion. Wow. All the onions, peppers, wow. um, and some, was it a honey chicken? Wow, so yummy. <laughs> Guys, Ninim is gorgeous, but it does not mean that I will not get lost 
every single time on the way to my subdivision. Um, I just had a super with my French audiovisual paper and it's about pronunciation and like liaison but it's difficult to like suddenly improve your French accent after so many years of speaking a certain way After lunch, I went straight to the library where I did just under an hour's work, had a short break and then did one more hour because I was seeing a friend from three to four for coffee. I am very organized and I like having my day split up in different chunks. I know this might sound stressful to some people and don't worry because most Cambridge students have a more relaxed attitude to organizing their schedule. I just like being busy because it means that I get the task done in a specific chunk of time, but just do whatever works for you. Guys, I'm here with a celebrity who we met up for a walk. How are you feeling? How's everything going? I'm feeling like How's Cambridge week going? Five. Week five. Jesus. Week five. What is week five? Please explain. Week five is the worst week of term. It's when all the terrible, terrible Cambridge shit hits you and you're sad and depressed and cold and you have reading to do. <laughs> and on that note, let's go back to the library. The evening had so much fun stuff in store, such as burgers with my friends and then a cheerleading social. So that basically just means hanging out with the team outside of trainings. Can <laughs> 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 so we see the phone? It's a flip phone, but I think your phones are too small oh. to do it in one thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just got back from John's bar and it was so much fun, guys. I made a new friend and he was literally like the languages king. He spoke so many languages and whenever I meet somebody who has the same passion as me, I'm like, ah, you are gonna be my friend. So he's really cool. And I have some time with Daniela. And yeah, I just love my college and everything. Everyone here is great. Saturday morning means it's brunch time! I love brunch! I love brunch so much and I love even more that I was joined by my wonderful, gorgeous, incredible sister. Hey, Rach. Rachel, how are you finding John's brunch? Very nice. Three bows. What's the deal? How's Cambridge going? How's the Cambridge line? I mean, not been here very long. Nice. How is being Andrew's sister? Is it the best experience in the world? Afterwards, I headed straight off to the library, you know me, and the rest of the day wasn't very interesting, to be honest. It was just working on an essay, and then I did a smidge of tutoring, but the evening plans were a bit more exciting, because my friend Tamsin organised another cheerleading social, which was to go and see the fireworks together. Because obviously, it was Guy Fawkes night. These fireworks honestly were incredible. So I went to the fireworks and they were great and then on the way out I bumped into a friend Ariana who graduated last year and it was great to see her again and then I also bumped into my housemates and my friends from Lucy Cavendish College and now we're going for dinner together so yeah really impromptu but very excited for my honest burger <laughs> Guys that was so cute and I actually managed to kind of turn off my brain from work when I was at dinner and just have a chat which was really nice I'm getting excited again for Cambridge clubbing Yeah. I know it kind of sucks, but I like it, so I'm excited to go out with the cheerleaders sometime soon. <laughs> By this point in the day, I'd already very thoroughly planned my written work. I needed to just convert that plan into words. So I said to myself, okay, I'm not leaving this library until I get the work written and completed. I still took breaks, but I knew I needed to just 
get it done. I also knew I was having a full rest day, day off work the next day, so I wouldn't get too burnt out. I guess this is the brutal reality of studying at Cambridge, but you don't have to be pulling all-nighters. I think this is just for people that are not particularly organized throughout the entire term. But alas, here we are. I finally finished the essay, yippee. By this point, I was a tiny bit delirious. <laughs> so excuse these following videos. I have a few things to say, guys. First thing is the craziest thing I did is that my essay that was meant to be... <laughs> is that my essay that was meant to be 2000, under 2,000 words. It's actually 2,001 words, so... <laughs> you better call the police. Lock, get out. <laughs> Kicked out of you. Second thing is that at some point in the film, there is a woman who starts stripping for everyone. And I was like, I can't say this in my essay. So I was like, raise an assumption of her sexuality, perform an exotic dance. Like, oh, how else am I supposed to say it? And apart from that, I did feel like that it was a bit too descriptive and not really. I mean, I did mention theory, but also it's the first type of film, like still shot analysis that we've done. So yeah. All of us are recording me right now. I'm feeling so famous, paparazzi. Okay, so this is not as much of a fun update, but in part of my channel is sharing all of my experience, not just the incredible formals and classes and falls and things like that. So today it's just been kind of one of those days where I think it's just been, not today, just the afternoon basically. It's not, it's not been going great. Like the microwave bake broke and my bike broke and I'm feeling sorry for myself because I've got broken fingers and I've had a bunch of injuries which meant I can't do cheer and that's one thing that's such a massive part of my university experience that it's just like it's just so irritating that I can't train and I think I should maybe try and find a way of trying to regulate my mood and that isn't exercise because sometimes you can't exercise because you're injured but yeah that I just want to be back to normal as soon as possible. Um, I don't know this sounds so stupid, but it's just it's just really irritating with all the injuries I've had this time. Yeah. Guys, I'm over my sadness because you know what I've got? I shouldn't know where I put them. <laughs> Ta -da -da! I have Lola's tickets, so I'm going out tonight. I have the best flatmates in the world. So after I was feeling sad about my injuries, they were like, we're going out tonight. And I was like, perm, same. Um, this is a shy I'm gonna wear. We'll see, she's gonna see through. But we'll see. Um, cut to breeze. Outfit check. <laughs> Featuring my bestie bedroom in the background. Green shot. Black drums. That's it. We arrived at the club kind of early because we didn't want to have to queue. So when we arrived, I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of dead, but it's okay because we had fun with my friend's digicam, we took some photos, I managed to steal my friend's elf ears, which I thought were great. However, it livened up and I just had such a good evening. Like it was so much fun and it was crazy because it was so impromptu and I ended up having so much fun. Yeah, it was a great, great evening. Club. Are you proud that you made my home screen? Oh, oh yeah. That's kind of crazy. Guys, it's like 3 a.m. I'm here with my um <laughs> lovely food from Gardies, which is where everyone goes after the night. Club. Oh, it's exactly 3 a.m. And I had such a good night out. Like this is an absolute juxtaposition contrast <laughs> to I hate myself for saying that to literally the same clip I filmed a couple like five hours ago my bike broke and I'm feeling sorry for myself it's got broken fingers I had such a good night out like they were doing ABBA like there was a bit of like there was Doja Cat which I was literally like Wah! 
and then um they had ABBA and like that sort of era of music great I spent a lot of time with um I don't remember Ariana but I didn't want to shove a camera in her face the other day but um I saw at fireworks with my friends who graduated last year I saw her boyfriend um who not gonna lie like we knew who each other were but we didn't want that like before we saw each other the other day we weren't really friends but we had such good chats and it was super cool seeing him so yeah slay so much of a fun night out and i'm now gonna finish my kebab i'm gonna take my contacts out and just chill and then go to bed and wake up and keep slaying and this is the end of this vlog i'm actually going to do the rest of the week in a part two because it was getting pretty long and i don't want to cut anything out because i've got so many interesting fun things to say Check out part two for more essays, friends, and healthy productivity. I hope to see you very soon. Bye.